too strong for the saw. All right, gentlemen, in today's video, I'm cutting in half this beautiful pair of expensive high-end boots so that I can teach you guys what to look for, what's inside a great pair of boots. Now, to be perfectly transparent, I'm not going to cut in half this pair right here. No, these are brand new. Nolan, the CEO over at Thursday Boots, just sent them to me. He agreed to this video, thought it was a great idea. I'm like, sure, I'll talk a little bit about Thursday and everything that goes into these. But guys, the pair I am cutting in half are my old pair of Thursday Boots, which I've had for three years. And it's sad, but yes, these boots, we're going to cut them in half. We're going to find out what is inside a pair of high-quality Goodyear welted boots. You ready, guys? Let's do it. All right, gentlemen, it's okay. Get emotional. We're about to do it, about to cut these beautiful pair of boots in half. Yes, somewhere, someplace, angels are crying. Let's find out what's inside. They're too strong for the saw. All right, so round two, these boots too tough for the saw. Let's give it another shot. Too tough! Now this is just getting embarrassing. I think I got smoke coming out of this saw. These boots are amazing! It's smoking! Gentlemen, let's give some respect to these boots. I mean, these things did not go down without a fight. I, they may have destroyed my saw here. No, I don't think they did, but uh, that was pretty cool. All right, gentlemen, so the deed is done. Now let's talk about what's inside of a good pair of boots. All right, so let's go ahead and get into these high-end boots and what we found on the inside. So when I look up at the tongue, and the tongue on a pair of boots, this is going to be what protects your foot from the laces. It's going to be where the quarter and the vamp, this is the part right over here on the upper. It's going to basically move up. But when I'm looking at the build overall of this tongue, great. And the, the leather on this these boots, this is really good leather, very thick. And I'm very happy to see that they used a good leather. This was why these boots are going to hold up so long. When you take care of a great thick leather like this, and if you treat the leather, you condition it, you polish it, you take care of it, it's going to be able to come back. So now as we go down and we get towards where the upper meets the outsole, what we're going to notice is that there's a welt. This makes sense. This is a Goodyear welted pair of boots. The cool thing about a Goodyear welt is it's going to be the most water resistant of all the builds. Nothing against a uh, Blake stitch, but a Blake stitch is going to be done on the inside of the shoe, and it does open it up to a little bit of water penetration, uh, but a Goodyear welt going to do a much better job because it brings in that extra layer, which is the welt. And the welt is basically going to be what connects that upper to the outsole. All right, so speaking of outsoles, let's go ahead and talk about the outsoles here on these boots. Going down the length of the boot, I'm going to notice that the outsole here, we've got two layers of rubber. They're stitched together on the outside using that Goodyear welt. On the inside, I can notice they do have a little bit of an adhesive, which I understand why they would have that there, but the stitching is really the key that keeps it together. Now, if we go look at the heel, one thing I want you to notice here, and you're going to have to look really careful, notice that tack that goes all the way down, tack, nails. Basically, you've got a piece of metal that as they were building this together, it was nailed all the way through. Now, I know that they're going to use an adhesive to keep together these layers as well, but this right here is all made out of leather. So the heel, we've got one, two, three, four, four layers right there of leather, and then a larger thick layer of rubber, which looks like it's attached with both the tack and an adhesive. So that's really nice. And you got multiple tacks over on the side. So a great job with the construction. In fact, as I'm pulling on this and playing, I can't actually pull this apart at all. So great construction there. 
Now, as we move up from the heel and we start to go back up through the outer sole, then all of a sudden we look that they've got a lining. These guys use a classic cork lining. And I can tell you that some of the best shoe companies out there are using cork linings. Cork over time is going to conform to your foot. And then I'm going to go ahead and let's look at the shank. So we do have a shank here. It goes about halfway down the boot. Now moving up above the shank, we're going to notice this white layer right here and it goes all the way down the length. I'm looking at this. It actually doesn't have much give. So I'm not thinking that this is a cushion at all. Actually, I'm thinking that this is weather protection from the elements. So basically it's going to protect your outer sole and then it's going to protect the insole. And that is the next piece we've got. So the insole is going to be that flat, protective piece right there that has a little bit of cushion on it, but most importantly, it's there for sweat absorption. So your feet will sweat and this is right here to absorb that sweat and then basically, you know, over time when you're not wearing the boots, usually you want to give them a day rest. That's when that sweat is just going to basically, you know, kind of find its way out. Now let's look at the stitching. So the stitching is straight and I see about 12 stitches per inch. That's great. 14 stitches, you're going to see that on really high end shoes. So when we look at the heel right above it, I'm going to look in the back. I see they've got a white stiffener. This isn't going to go all the way back up. It goes up, it looks like about two inches. And what I notice about this stiffener, this one actually is pretty stiff, which is good. You want that on a pair of boots. That's going to ensure and maintain the shape of the back heel. So understand when you're buying a quality pair, what you're paying for are those extra layers, the fact that you're not going to have a hollow heel, the fact that you're going to have all these things put together and basically adhering to each other in various ways so that these boots are going to last you a lifetime. And that's what you're looking for. All right, guys, what'd you think? Fun video? Did you like this one? Let me know down in the comments. I want to hear from you. And if you like the video, click on that like button. If you're new to Real Men Real Style, make sure to subscribe. Become part of our community. Now, guys, if you haven't gone over to realmenrealstyle.com, that's my website. I want you to go check that out as well. I'm putting the link to my website down in the description where I've got tons of free eBooks. I've got a free style consultation service. I've even got like this new style dictionary that has an audio with it so you can learn all the words that every stylish man needs to know. Guys, why do I put these tools here because I want you to become the man you know yourself to be. I'm on a mission to help you leverage the science of style to become the best dressed you. And that's it guys. Take care. I will see you in the next video.